All right, so here goes my vanity tour slash mini declutter because I know there are a few things in my collection that need to go. And I just reorganized all of my makeup storage, so I want to show you kind of how I store everything. It's still really messy, but we're going to go for it anyway. So first, this is all of my project pan stuff here in this container. And I will link all of these containers below. These are all from Amazon for the most part. And they're just acrylic um, cosmetic organizers. So I have all of my Project Pan eye products, my lip products, face products. There's some primer here. There's a few things that need to go to my bathroom, some hair products up here. I have cotton rounds and q-tips which I mostly use for disinfecting makeup since I remove most of my makeup in my bathroom. And then over here I have my NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals palette which is my pan that palette for this year, my mirror, and then also like a crud ton of brushes which I just cleaned. They are organized by type of brush so like eye brushes, uh, face brushes, foundation brushes, etc. Over here is my makeup basket or my daily makeup, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I really need to do a video about that too, but I've been really behind. And today my son is with his grandparents, so I have a little bit of time to film videos for Audubon Fox Tree and also for work. But this is just what I'm using currently. So there's blush palettes, eye palettes, highlighters, etc. By the way, this is a cheap desk from Walmart. And it's pretty hideous. My husband, like, burned the crap out of it. I don't know if you can tell. Like, burned the crap out of it using it as an ironing board when it was his. So I just threw a nice scarf over it. Over here, we have concealers. These are all um, bowls that I got at the dollar store. I just thought they were nice and there were certain things that didn't fit well in drawers so I just threw them in here. These are all my lip products for 18 in 2018. Mini hand lotions and then also my different setting powders. This little rotating thing has all of my like face base type products. Um, I have BB creams primers, some face masks, um, setting sprays, and of course like a variety of foundations. Over here I keep my webcam, um, my microphone, and there's alcohol back here for disinfecting makeup because I had nowhere else that it fit. In this drawer, or in this little area, I keep eye products. There's lip products down here. These are all my ColourPop Super Shock Shadows in these two drawers and um, and highlighters, blushes, there's some face and body products down there and some other miscellaneous things. Over here I keep all of my palettes, so all the small palettes are up here in these little palette, palette organizers which are also from Amazon and I have medium palettes, large palettes, and then all of my custom palettes from Coastal Scents, ColourPop, my Z palettes, and then also um, this is another drawer reserved for custom palettes, and then down here I have face palettes. So I need to go through some of this and declutter it today. I think I will start with, well, I think I will start with everything on the, um, like on the top and on my vanity here. There's probably nothing on the vanity itself that's going to go. But we'll start on top here and then we'll just move over here and work our way around. So, as far as these products, I'm thinking... I don't want to declutter any of my BB creams because I'm still playing with a lot of these. I don't wear them as much as I should. Um, I like all my face masks brush bath. Foundation wise, I like all my foundations. So you know what, we're not going to declutter anything from there. I know nothing from here is getting decluttered because this is all stuff I use pretty frequently. So we will just move on to drawers. 
So the top here I have lots and lots of eye pencils and some like eye crayon type products. I know that um, there are a lot of like colorful ones in here that I may or may not use. Here are some black eyeliners. I know that I want to get rid of this Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. I have another one of these in a project pan. I am not as crazy about it as I hoped I would be. So I think this brand new one would be a good one to sell on Poshmark. These are all like minis that I want to try. Same with this NYX one. I use this gel liner and the jumbo pencil. Back here, I have these Ulta ones. I think these are all ones that I still use or intend to use. What is this one? This is the Blackberry one because I do use this. Oh, this is the gunmetal one, which I also use. Okay, so nothing else from that drawer. Moving down here. I know there's not going to be anything in this drawer because it's all mascara and eye primer and brow products. In here, I have one MAC shadow because the other ones are, spoiler alert, in a project pan that starts in August that I haven't done a video for yet. I have this City Colors Shimmer Shadow. This is really pretty. This is in the shade All Eyes on Me. It's really pretty. It's like a brassy purple color. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, I just, I never reach for this. So I think I'm going to declutter this as well. And then I have, these just have um, some Coastal Scent singles in them that didn't have a home. These pop shadows, I am not crazy about at all. Sorry, I'm trying to open it. These little containers are really hard to open. So this one's like a gunmetal color. This one here is like a copper. There's also this Hikari cream pigment that I got in Ipsy last month that I'm just not crazy about. It is like another like gold metallic. I just have so many of these and I'm really not into this right now. And none of these fit like a standard size eyeshadow palette as far as like the ones that have the, the little spaces for the circular pans. So we are decluttering all of those. Now into lip products. This is where it gets a little scary because I hold on like a crazy person to my lip products. Um, I do have a black lipstick and black lip gloss that I refuse to get rid of. I love my liquid cat suit, so that's not going anywhere. This Lord and Berry crayon, I don't even remember where I got this. And I've never used it. You know what? This is getting decluttered. And all of my lip liners stay. Um, some of these are brand new, like these Milani ones. Um, I have some Ulta ones here that I just got not that long ago. Um, some ColourPop. This ColourPop lippy stick looks really good on me, I'm told. This is in the shade... Whoops. Sorry, guys. This was an Ipsy one. It's in the shade Glam Bag. I know that's not focusing. Um, I'm going to declutter this because I'm just not crazy about the formula. And what is this? Ulta Color Rush Lip Gloss. I do want to try that. Love, love, love my Ofra lipsticks. These are amazing. That's my Jelly Pong Pong lip gloss that I will never get rid of. ColourPop Liquid, uh, liquid Lipsticks. Let's see. These are the ColourPop. Is this one of the ColourPop ones? Yeah, this is one of the ColourPop Lux lipsticks that I haven't even tried yet. There's a lip crayon from Ulta and another color pop. So those are all staying. Down here, we have this, um, oh, who is this by? This is City Color. This is a dual lip wand that came in a lip monthly. It is like Barbie pink, but I think everyone should own one Barbie pink lipstick. So I'm not getting rid of that. I have a lip scrub from Fizz and Bubble. And this uh, lip topper from Catrice that I am just still trying out. But what else is in here? I'm trying to see if there's anything. This Lime Crime one I haven't tried yet, but I do want to try that. There's some ColourPop, Urban Decay. Oh, this is another Ofra. These are amazing. These long-lasting liquid lipsticks are fantastic. 
there is this Tarte Lip Sculptor. You know what? I'm not probably going to use this, so I'm going to declutter this one. I'm just not feeling it. And this is one of my Bare Minerals ones. I love these two. These are their Gen Nude Lip Creams or Lip Butters, something like that. Um, again, this is the Bare Minerals here, too. Um... This was the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Scandalous. This is one of those taupey gray lipsticks. Okay, I'm breaking my door. Um, I thought this would be really cool, but I'm kind of on the fence about keeping this, so I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. I used it once and was like, mm, I don't know. Those are my Sexy Mother Pucker lipsticks from Soap and Glory. They are fantastic. Um, this red lipstick I wanted to be in love with from Mana Kadar, and it's really red. The color is fabulous, but I'm not crazy about the formula. Um, it's just a little too difficult for me personally to work with because I feel like it moves all over the place and you have to be really precise with it. So I'm going to declutter this one. Who's this? Oh, this is a new one. This is the Sleek Major Matte. I do want to try that. Uh, let's see what's in pink here. Is there anything there that I really want to get rid of? I never want to get rid of any of my NYX or Too Faced stuff. What is this? This is... I don't even know who this is by. Oh, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. We are not getting rid of that. So, what is this one? That's my mini bear mirror right there. And... Yeah. So those are all staying. Down here is just nail stuff, not very exciting, but I'm keeping all of that. I do know that there are a few ColourPop Super Shock shadows that I want to declutter because they were just way too glittery for me, and I'm going to sell those on, um, on Poshmark. Not that one. Oh, come on. I'm going to have to pull these whole trays out of here, I think, probably. Okay. None of those ones, but there is this one here, which is in the shade EXO, I believe. Whoops, no, this is, what is this? So, Soul Shalize. This was from their, one of their recent collections, the Pretty Fly collection, I think. And it's just way too glittery and, and sparkly and purple for me. So this one's going to go. Um, same thing with this one. This is EXO. And this, again, is just too glittery, glittery and sparkly and purple. I might sell those together. This one is glittery, but I kind of like it. This is in the shade Forced Behavior. I do like that. And this one is Goodbye Butterfly, which is like my favorite one from this collection. It's such a pretty pink. Um, these are all mattes and shimmers, so they are staying. And the ones down here I just got not that long ago. I haven't even worn them yet. I've only swatched them. So we're keeping all of those. Oh, highlighters. No, I never want to get rid of any of my highlighters because I love them. Um, I really don't know if I'm getting rid of anything from this drawer. Even though I've there's some of these that I've like barely touched. Um, in fact, some of these I have not even tried on my face yet. The one... I'm on the fence about getting rid of this rainbow highlighter too. I got this and I thought it was cool. And you know what? I'm just not thrilled by it. But I've only used it like twice. So you know what? I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Next are blushes. Let me see here. I feel like some of these could go. Bronzers will stay because I don't have that many of them. But I just got that Ulta Mineral Blush. These NYX ones I tried. I might swatch these. I'm going to put these in the maybe pile. They're not bad blushes. They're just... I picked this one because it has my name. Um, they're just not exciting blushes either. So I will swatch them. I will see how I like them. And But they're going in a maybe pile. They may be decluttered and put on Poshmark. One of these I wore once. The other one I haven't even tested yet. What else is in here? I think those are the only ones that I'm like, oh, please go. 
I like my Milani's and my Burt's Bees and all of that. So that's going to stay. I don't think there's anything in here. This is all skin and body lotion and stuff. Um, this is like a big samples drawer that I throw everything into for when people come to my house. If they like something, they can just take it. This is like a lot of some old nail polish and stuff in here, some moisturizers, a couple small palettes that I didn't really want to sell or declutter to other people, like as far as like selling them online, but I thought my friends might like them, like some cheaper ones. There's like some Profusion palettes down here. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then down here is my cosmetics bags that are overflowing. I think maybe I should declutter a couple of these. <laughs> They're pretty crazy. Oh my god, it won't even open. So this one is like a wallet. It came with like a gift set from Ulta, and this is really cool. I love that. I love this beachy one. I love this one that I bought on purpose. This wasn't from a gift set or a subscription box. I just thought this was really cute and minty. This is the most recent Ipsy bag, I believe. Yes. And I really like this because I collect stamps and I used a pen pal and stuff. So I am all about this bag. This one I really hate. I think it's hideous. This was one of the winter Ipsy bags. We're getting rid of this one. Um, these will either be decluttered and sold or decluttered and filled with samples for my friends. I also think this is hideous. This is from either Ipsy or Lit Monthly. I think it was an Ipsy bag. I think it's just, I just think it's ugly. This one I kind of like. It's weird, but I kind of like it. So I'm going to keep that for now. Um, these little Lit Monthly ones, they're all freaking hideous. Like, they really did not have great quality bags. I think we're going to put all of those in a pile, and I might just sell them as a big set or something. I don't know. They're just hideous. This is one of the most beautiful bags that Ipsy ever did, though. I love this. And this one as well that has the lace roses on it. So pretty. Um, this was... This came with some bath stuff that friends got me for my birthday. I like this one too. This was an Ipsy bag that I didn't think I was going to like, but it's kind of fun and sporty and like I could see myself like taking something to the pool in it or whatever. I don't know. It's cute and it's mesh and I just really like it. It feels nice. So we're going to keep that one. This one, oh my gosh, this is my freaking Gudetama one from Ipsy. This will never go anywhere because I love it. Um, and then this Ipsy one is like a jean fabric. I don't mind this one. A lot of these I turn into like pencil cases and office supply holders and stuff too. I think this is cute. This was another gift set one. This I will never get rid of. This is like a roll up brush thing. Whoop, let's see if I can get it one handed. A friend gave this to me when I was like 18 or 19. It's Vera Bradley and her mother owns a store that sells Vera Bradley. I believe it's Vera Bradley. But anyway, you put like the brushes, whoops, it's upside down. It has like all these, oh, there we go. It is Vera Bradley. Um, yeah, her mom sells Vera Bradley in like her gift shop. So she got, got this for me and you put all your brushes in here and you can travel with your brushes and I love it and I will never get rid of it. Um, this is an Ipsy I don't even remember, but it's like studded leather and I'm kind of in love with it. So that's staying. I think this is friggin' hideous, but it's kind of cute at the same time. So I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. I like this one. You were supposed to color this. This was an Ipsy bag that was like, color your own bag. I never did, but I still think it's really pretty. This wild and free one, I'm just not crazy about. And then like Lip Monthly tried to copy it and I was just like, ugh, no. Um, I do like this Milani one. I think this little clutch is really cute. And oh my gosh, there's so many bags in here. I like this Ipsy one a lot with the two-tone look. This is just like some random mesh bag from NYX. I don't even know where this, I don't even remember what order this came from. I don't know what this is, but I think it's cute and I have a thing for lace, so we're keeping that. This came from BH Cosmetics. Um, it was a brush holding bag. I really like that. And I also like this like snakeskin looking one from Ulta, so that's staying. But at least we decluttered a few things. If, you know, if not the whole collection, then a little bit of what was in there. I'm going to put all that back. Do, do, do. 
Now I can at least flatten it out some so they're not all crazy. They sort of fit in there now. Okay. Okay, there are five palettes that I'm intending to declutter. And I just saved myself the trouble of going through all the eyeshadows because this video is getting like wildly long. So I have this set. This was a gift from my mom for Christmas. These are, oh my God, if I can open them. These are like really hard to open. Um, these are the NYX Love in Paris mini palettes. They are gorgeous. This one's all like neutrally browns. This one has some pink tones in it. They're a little funky looking because I disinfected them because they were getting really old. And I wish I had used these more. I hate that I didn't use them, but I just, they're so old. They're from like Christmas 2015. And I just feel like that's starting to get borderline too old. And they were a gift from my mom and I don't want to get rid of them for that reason. But I'm kind of like, they have to go. And my mom would be like, oh my God, gross. Please throw those out. So you know what? These are going in the trash. And this sleek palette, it's their E10 palette. Literally, I have swatched the plastic still in here. Guys, the plastic. So, and the brush is missing. How does the brush go missing in all of my little things? So I've like swatched the crap out of this and I may have used this pink shade once. Other than that, I have not touched this palette at all. I've had it a year and it's got to go because somebody needs to use this. Somebody who loves really, really sparkly shimmer shadows will love this. So this is going on Poshmark. This NYX Perfect Filter Rainy Days palette. I was so excited about this because it was cool toned. It was kind of gothy. I just loved it. Um, this was the biggest disappointment. Like I've used it a couple times and it's just been under, under, underwhelming. I, I can't work with it super well. There's a couple shades in here that I really enjoy. I really love this one here and this one. I love this shimmery white up top there. And this one is also pretty good. I'm sorry my hands are so dry. I've been washing them so much lately and washing bottles and changing diapers and stuff. So, um, But other than that, I could really leave the rest of these. And I just think somebody else will get more use out of it than I will. And the other one that I'm decluttering, I hate to do this because I like it, but I have these colors now in, in like some coastal scents and stuff. And I've literally never used this. I've only swatched it. But this is the NYX Bright, Ultimate Brights palette. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. And it's really pretty, it's really fun. There's a lot of mattes in here which are hard to find in bright colors. But I have so much of this in Coastal Scents custom palettes now that I just can't justify keeping this because I never reach for it and I really want someone else to get use out of it. So those are the five palettes that I'm decluttering. Thank you for watching. And let me know if you're interested in any of these. My Poshmark and my Mercati accounts are um, late. Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk today. They're linked below if you want to get your hands on any of these declutters. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.